So I'm gonna put a little bit of lotion. Wow! You know, as your barber, I didn't like the look. But now, I hair dry, it looks better. I need a haircut. I gotta go to the barber shop. You got any spots open? Walk in? Yeah. Sure. Uh, welcome to the Fung Bros Barber Shop. I'm giving David a haircut. As you guys may have known and seen some old haircut videos in the past, uh, cutting hair is kind of a side hobby. I'm not a professional. I only know a few haircuts, but I can do them. One of the haircuts is the David Fung haircut, or as I would call, the Davido Mofongo. But uh, one thing that I'm gonna be doing today that's different from previous haircuts is leaving the hair a little bit longer because I want it to grow out more because we recently had a talk with Rich the Barber and he said a more mature look is to have darker hair on the sides. That's right. what he, he did say that. Okay, all right. So he what, said that. Rich the Barber said it. So what I'm gonna be doing today is keeping it kind of long on the sides. I'm just gonna trim David up. I'm gonna shape it up. You know, I'm gonna do a, a couple things. I might, you know, even shape the brows. Definitely sh gonna shape the beard and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, we're gonna keep it long, keep it dark. And I think if you're cutting your friend's hair, this is almost like a more a realistic level. Like giving them a trim versus transforming their haircut uh, completely. If they were to do that, I would recommend going to a professional stylist, professional barbershop. Wait, 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 what are you saying? That I can't do this? Well, we're just getting you, a trim, that's just all I'm saying. I'm saying... You don't, you're saying I can't do the, the skin fade? No, I'm just saying the transformations should be reserved for the professionals. David, for today's barbershop tour video, I'm gonna be explaining what it's like to be cutting your friend in the bathroom. Now this is at home barbershops. I don't have everything. I don't have all the barber side. I don't have the big desk. I don't have the big mirror. Well, I do have a big mirror. But uh, what I'm gonna be explaining to you is like how you can kind of create a very good barbershop experience for your friend in your bathroom. So anyways, guys, Watch, all right, but first of all, I obviously don't have all the tools that everybody has, but I have the essentials, my clippers, my T-liner, I have some brushes, some basic scissors, some horsehair brushes, obviously. Well, would a professional barbershop use the Supreme Clippers? I, somebody, you know, this this Supreme Clipper is just based off of a very affordable wireless Andis, uh, 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 I want to say magic clip, I think that's what it's called, so this is just the Supreme version, so yeah, I mean, whatever, use it, don't use it, I don't care, but anyways, I'm going to keep it uh, long on the side, so what I'm going to do is I'm not going to do skin. I'm looking for the zero right here, and I'm just going to, what you're going to see is not a super steep fade, not a gradient fade, but just a trim again. But like a fade, I'm still going to kind of make a vague guideline, but I'm just not going to cut it too close. I think a common mistake that customers make when they want to grow out their hair is uh, to not get a haircut for like a month at a time. Your hair will grow out, but you'll have split ends. It'll just look really fuzzy and messy. I think it's way better to just progressively get longer haircuts if you're growing your hair out. So it really smooths out the ugly phase process. Lucky for David, he lives with a guy who can cut hair so that I can still cut his hair pretty much like once a week if you want. So fading David right now is going to be pretty easy because I'm actually fading from a longer length. It's just not going to have that fade look as much because uh, we're trying to keep his overall head darker but I'm just gonna extend it here from a zero flat to a zero extended. I don't really know the technical term for that, but I just call it zero extended. You're saying you don't use official terminology at homie barbershop? I, could I learn the, is there a technical term for that? Take care of my shoehorn. Make sure my shoehorn is good. All right, so now I'm switching to the one clip and I would say for 90% of fades out there, all you need is like, three clips, three guards at most. You just need a zero guard, you need a one guard, a two guard. And then most people, if you're cutting and they want it shorter on the sides, they're not gonna need more longer than two. So really at home, if you're cutting most haircuts, especially for Asian guys, those are all the guards that you need. So remember guys, you have your skin, your zero, your zero extended, your one, your one extended, two to all the way to two extended. So that's gonna give you really all the gradient you need. Now I'm just going up with a one real quick and do it lightly. Again, like I said, I'm giving David a trim. This is not a world-class fade, but it's going to be good enough. So now I'm extending it from a one flat to a one extended, just kind of making that, that gradient a little bit so that David can feel the fade, but I'm gonna ultimately keep quite a bit of hair on David, going around his head, 
This is like a speed fade, by the way, guys. I'm not spending one hour here. I'm not also getting paid 30, 40, or even $80 for this. But that's why this video is important because I think for a lot of people, this is almost their most accessible barbershop depending on where they live and their budgetary concerns. Cutting your hair at home or cutting a friend's hair at home, very, very easy. And I recommend everybody, especially if you're like a young dad and you got some young boys or you got a lot of friends you wanna cut up, then learning some basic haircut skills is very, very important. Honestly, your kids do not need to be that fresh. Yeah, to be yeah. honest, your kids, they, it could be, but what are you gonna do? Push the, the edge up back to make it all clean and stuff like that? I don't know. But first of all, I do wanna shout out to all those girlfriends who learned how to cut their man's hair during the pandemic. Shout out to you because at least you learned how to cut men's hair and that was very helpful and I'm sure your boyfriend appreciated it. I got a two clip on, I got my comb. I'm gonna go on the sides. Like I said, you know, we wanna keep David's sides a little bit long, but knowing Asian hair, I'm just, I don't wanna keep it like too long, right? And I still gotta see some gradient. What's your opinion on the Flowbee? Uh, do they need to bring the Flowbee back? The Flowbee? Yeah, the thing that had the, the suction cup attached to it. Oh man, honestly that stuff never really worked man. All those little haircut inventions. I don't think a robot's gonna be cutting hair anytime soon. I saw that there was some robot haircutting machines but I don't think they're very efficient and I don't think they're very cheap. So ultimately it's easier to just have somebody in the chair. Would it just look like a big robo cap that you put on your head and then you just take it oh, off dude. and eventually it looks like a lineup? All right, we'll play the video right here. It's nine in theory. I haven't done it yet. Hopefully it works, but. We're doing it live. So here's the whole haircut from start to finish. Heads up, I look completely insane in this time lapse. I'm cutting on a two plus because I want David's stuff long. But ultimately when David styles his hair, I'm gonna ask David to put a little bit of product to mat it down to make it even look darker. I'm gonna check the shape here. Overall, I'm not mad at the shape. Like I said, it's not a super tight fade. As you can see, we still got some hair, some darkness. Um, but that looks fine. Honestly, I'm, I'm okay with this. It looks passable. See, I'm itching. I'm itching to make this a skin fade right now, you know? You know how nice that would look if I just made the little guideline right there? But per my customer's request, I'm gonna keep it long. My rationale for keeping it a little bit darker on the sides is because I actually wanted it to blend in with uh, my beard that is starting to get darker too. Because I think it looks really cool when it's just like, Man, boom, boom, it looks like all one piece, like the anime. Hey man, you the customer, man, you the customer. RIP, I, I saw this photo of Godfrey Gao. He looked pretty cool with it. I, I didn't know if it was just because it was Godfrey, but you know, sometimes you get inspired by stuff you see in the magazines. You wanna look like Godfrey Gao? Why didn't you just say that? I got you. All right, the top, I'm just gonna trim a little bit. I'm not gonna do anything fancy. Scissor cuts, that's more of the stuff that you're gonna learn at barber school. I did not learn this, but I just followed what barbers did and I just pay close attention and I just don't like F it up. Again, like I said, if your hair is cut, it looks clean, it looks like you got a haircut and it's not F'd up, it's good enough. See, now, yeah, I look like a pro now, huh? Don't I? I kind of look like a pro now, huh? Does wow. it feel like a pro? Wow, you're layering the fringes. I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to cut good enough to get validation at the Dominican barbershop, Moran barbershop that we filmed at earlier. That's my dream. Validation. Let me just do a little beep, 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 beep. Little scissor cuts there. Little beep, 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 beep. Some people are gonna uh, judge my technique. You know what? Like I said, it's good enough. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna shape them up. So here, you can watch it on this side. So interestingly enough, this is often the part that makes it look like you got a haircut, obviously. The lineup is very important. I'm not even gonna lie guys, my T-liner is not set up to cut as close as the ones at the shop. Like my T-liner could definitely be zero gapped. When you hear barbers talk about zero gap, that means that this outer guard, which is obviously supposed to keep you from getting sliced, is really, really zero gapped straight with the razors that are cutting. So it's gonna cut super close. So if you notice that my T-liner doesn't cut as close as the ones at the barber shop, it's because they they don't. All right, so now I'm about to shape the beard and the mustache, and what I like to do with David's mustache is take it low, right? You can, I kind of want to give him the lamello ball uh, type mustache. Who else has his mustache? Lou Bega. Lou Bega, all right, more of the lamello ball all right here.
Because this side of David, his, his beard is not super thick. How do you make it thicker? You gotta cut up here. You gotta kill the little baby hairs. When you cut all these invisible hairs, actually, you're gonna start to see how it looks a little bit different. You're about shaving the peach fuzz. All right, so I know that David wanted some darkness on the side, so I'm gonna do a very, very light taper with a half extended, not skin, but because I still wanna see some type of taper fade on this side, because right now it just looks like one length from here to here, which is not bad, but I wanna see a little bit, so I'm gonna just do a really light taper right there and it's just me moving the the clipper back and forth right that's how you kind of get the fade all right so David does look like he's starting to get some whiskers here because it's not super dense so I'm just gonna trim it really lightly on a one and a half I still want him to have long hairs but I definitely want this hair to be shorter than his chin hair mm. even me I don't have hair that thick but I got this hair this is a little goatee it's gonna just lengthen my head shape a little bit, just. So st still keeping some of the grizzliness here, but just trimming it so it's all even at least, a little bit cleaner, you know? So it looks upkept. You know, I think the key is sometimes you just want to let people know that you meant to do that, that mm. you are upkeeping your hair, right? It doesn't have to look necessarily exactly like a certain fade or anything like this, but it looks even and people are like, okay, this guy knows how to groom himself. Listen guys, look intentional with your haircuts. Look like you intended to get one and you intend to upkeep one. All right, so we're moving on to the little other facial hair aspects. David, your eyebrows could use a little bit of shaping. And since I'm at home, I'm gonna use at home tools. I'm gonna use a little bit of lotion because I don't use shaving cream, but I do have these eyebrow razors here that you can get off Amazon. Um, they don't cut you straight up. If you cut, I can still like technically cut his skin, but I got just got to do it at an angle and it kind of pulls the skin out too. So they're, they're very useful, but you still got to be careful. So I'm going to put a little bit of lotion because lotion's going to help. It's kind of like my shaving cream. So the thing about eyebrows, guys, you don't want to do too thin. All right, if that's not your style. So I'm just going to start and start at the corners. You can see, you can see I've shaved it before, so he has these little hairs growing out. So I'm gonna take it down. But you gotta ha have uh, control of it, all right? And again, you shave down, you give it a good shave, you get all the little invisible hairs up here. It's gonna make the eyebrow more visible. So as you can see, I'm not cutting it too thin. I'm gonna pull the skin a little bit, flatten it out, just do this hair right here on the bottom. Just kind of get the crazy hairs. Again, some barbers out there, they might criticize my technique. That's fine, I'm down to learn. Look, voila, you see a slight difference? It's a little darker, the edges are darker, more defined lines. I've cut all the little invisible baby hairs around there. And uh, I, I would compare it to like sweeping with a dustpan versus sweeping obviously with a vacuum versus getting a steam cleaner. You can clean the floor with any of those three things, but one of them is gonna be way cleaner than the other ones. David, you gotta do this, but you got a little nose hairs in there. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna uh, give uh, you this. We gotta blur so, this. We gotta yeah. blur this part. Uh, <laughs> blur it, but 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 just know that you. So let me tell you this. Nose hairs is something that a lot of guys don't think about. I don't know if it's an Asian thing, but Asians, from my experience, we have like long, like we don't have hair all over our body, but where we do get hair, it's long. And I got long armpit hairs, I got long, you know, hairs down there, and I get long nose hairs. And it's black and it's thick, so you know it's noticeable. Sometimes it looks like little fly legs. Trust me, it happens to everybody. So you gotta sometimes either take some of those curved scissors that are specifically made for nose, you know, not the ones with the sharp edges, but the but the blunt ends, or you get the little nose trimmer, the electric one, and you go in there and you trim it up. Not cut all your hair, because you don't still need some hair for safety and breathing, but you gotta trim it. And there's different ways to trim it, so think about it. But also, be careful, again, because you can still cut yourself. All right, so I'm about to put some product in David's hair. Uh, usually I'll use this styling powder. A lot of people use this. Obviously it does dry out your hair, but it gives it a lot of grit and texture. And then I also use this Hans de Fuco, which is pretty nice too. It's not super cheap, but David, you got this Contu 
hair cream, explain this to us. So basically this is actually a leave-in conditioner. So it actually just nourishes your hair, but you can just leave it in and use it to style your hair as well. And I really like using this because it's not as damaging because obviously other hair products, they would work better, but you have to take them out. And then when you take them out, maybe you're scrubbing your hair, you're losing some hairs. I I'd rather use something that's almost like dual purpose, a little bit like uh, aloe gel. Okay, so you're saying you want me to put this in your hair. But this isn't really for styling, this is for repair. Right, but it, but it will get the job done. So listen guys, we're doing things different right. see, at the homie see, barbershop. See, even I'm gonna tell you this, even I, I gotta see how this works. So here, I'll tell you this. Based off this, it's giving you a little bit more of a wet look, which is fine. It kind of looks more like how gel does in your mm -hmm. hair, which I think if you're gonna do gel or this, maybe this is a healthier option, but it definitely doesn't look like I put the hair powder in. Right, right, right. This is a different look because the hair powder is gonna give it that more fluffy matte look. But um, hey man, if you feel good with this, that's ultimately the number one thing. Yeah. If you feel good. I'm not gonna lie guys, I always been a little bit lazier. So I would just put the aloe gel lotion that you could also put on your skin in my hair or I would put things that were really like dual usage. Yeah, but I, I be, look up stuff about aloe gel because I don't know, that's not ne made it necessarily for hair. It could be astringent. It might dry out your hair too. But anyways, this one is a creamy hair conditioner and it does do work a little bit. Like I can mat down the side a little bit. So that's helpful. Um, look at that. Look, nice little fade. It's a cool little fade. Listen guys, that was a very quick trim from Homie Barbershop. And this is something uh, that obviously, you know, it does take some knowledge, some level of repetition to get to, but you can provide this for your friends. And I think this is a really great service because not everybody wants to spend anywhere from obviously 30 to $80 every week. You know, some people, they should do that, but other people, this is gonna be a great substitute. Hold up, hold up, come back. All right, so I understand that David preferred to put the hair conditioner in, so it kind of put the hair together and kind of clumped it together. It's obviously healthy for your hair, but we got to blow dry. Blow drying is actually very important. I know, David, you may not usually do this, but you got to take a comb, either the one that has the holes in it or this, uh, what do they call this, a pompadour comb, a quiff comb. Take a little bit. And you just kind of roll it in. And actually, it's really important that your blow dryer has uh, like an attachment. Yeah, this flat attachment is key. So this is actually giving David a lot of volume that he previously was not having. Right? And I'm blowing, I'm using a mixture of warm and cold air. And also, this is going to take off some of the hair here. Wow! See? Now that looks a little bit more fuller hair. I think when we per first put in the hair conditioning, it was a little bit wet and it kind of, you kind of saw your scalp and stuff like that. And that's why, you know, as your barber, I didn't like the look, but now I hair dry, it looks better. Overall guys, look, that's how you can do a, dri a trim at home in a very, very barbershop style. So yeah, let us know if this video was helpful. I do still cut hair from time to time. Who knows, maybe in the future, I do a little guest barbering at 12 Pell. That would be fun, or I come to some other barbershop and do it. But anyways, guys, let us know in the comments down below, is cutting hair at home something that you wish you could do or you wish that someone in your family could do? It's a really great hobby. It saves a lot of money, saves a lot of time. And yeah, I mean, you just need some practice and some you know proper principles in coaching. More people should add it to their skill set for sure. All right, guys, look, eyebrows, mustache, beard, and haircut. David, if you went to any barbershop in New York City, you know how much that would have costed you with the beard lineup and the eyebrows? Guess, at a minimum. 40. $40 minimum. All right, everybody, uh, check in next time. Hit that like button. And this was barbershop tour, but in our apartment. Till next time, we out. Peace.